Hi, this is Aldo from ExcelNinja.com. In this video, we'll be looking at the choose function. The choose function is a function that helps you to select uh, values depending on a input. And the syntax is choose open parentheses, index number, and then you'll have a series of values, value one, value two, value three, etc. close parentheses. So what Excel does is it looks for whatever value you give it as an index and then it goes looking for value one, two, three, depending on what index number is. So let's look at it into a practical setting. You have a series of scores and a score band that it's associated with the, each score. And then you have the name of your students and you want to plug in the score they receive and Excel to automatically uh, select the score band based on your input. So you don't have to type in uh, every time the score band, saving you time and money. So how do you do that? You use the choose function and I'll show you the uh, syntax in this particular case is okay, choose whatever is the index number now is whatever it's in E6, which in this case is 10. So then it goes looking for uh, the 10th value in the series that I've specified. In our particular case, a 10th value is in cell B15. Uh, so it's uh, a fixed reference, so I can copy and paste later. In our particular case, is excellent. So that's how this is then uh, selected. So if I was to choose, if Mark got one as a score, I plug in one and Excel goes look for, okay, uh, the value, the index number in cell is in cell E7, it's a one. The value one is contained in cell B6. It goes looking for B6 and it's poor. Similarly, if I plug in, if Sue got a four, Excel looks for, okay, the cell in the index number is contained in cell E8 and it's a four. I need to look for value four, one, two, three, four, cell B9 and cell B9, it contains medium, etc. etc. I can put eight, I can put another three, nine. So you can build your uh, table without having to plug in every time a um, manually type in the score band. Another way of looking at it is that you don't actually need all these uh, this table which looks a bit like a VLOOKUP table. Um, you can just type in the different values here and again get Excel to reference to them. So you, if you know that you only have four values in the score band uh, then you just reference the um, the value in the, in the formula to cell B19, B20, B21, B22, i.e. all of these. So then when you plug in, 4 gives you excellent uh, because this that's value 4, 1, 2, value 1, value 2, value 3, value 4, and that's how you plug them in, value 1, value 2, value 3, value 4. And similarly, 1, 2, three, two, one, and again you can build it like that. The last way I want to show it to you, you don't actually need a reference, some, a table with values at all, because what you can do, you can type them in, hard code them uh, in the formula. And this is a bit less flexible in case later on you decide uh, to change values, etc., etc. But what you can do, you can say, okay, Refer look for the index number in cell E18, in this case it's 4, and then the values are value 1 is poor, value 2 is medium, value 3 is good, value 4 is excellent, and this is a text uh, value. So again, with 4 we'll get excellent, with 1 we'll get poor, 2, 3, 2, and 4, and look what happens if I put 5, still an error message, zero error message again uh, there's no value there and if I plug in a decimal like say for instance 
it will still give me medium what it does it runs it down to the nearest integer so it gives me medium so up until I get to uh, 3 it'll still give me medium I'll type in 3 okay now it's value 3 and voila it's uh, good um, so hopefully you can use the choose function to uh, basically uh, use in your own circumstances but as a way of speeding up the population of tables.